Coming up on this week's episode, EAA Rate Aviation Scholarships makes a difference for future aviators. Also, Spartan College and SkyWest create hiring partnership and new A&P program benefits both students and employers. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. This is a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training, from future pilots, current pilots, and to anyone interested in the aviation world. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. 275 young aviators can now achieve their dreams of flight, thanks to EAA's Ray Aviation Scholarship Fund. The Ray Foundation provides EAA up to $10,000 to deserving youth aviators to cover their flight training expenses. That support totaled $1 million in 2019 and $1.2 million each in 2020 and 2021. The Ray Foundation has supported many EAA initiatives over the years, which has extended EAA's ability to grow participation in aviation, said Rick Larson, EAA's Vice President of Communities and Member Programming. Since the first Ray Aviation Scholarship was awarded in 2019, 276 young people have received support to fully fund their flight training. Of that group, 133 have already earned their pilot certificate. There are EAA chapter and scholar eligibility requirements for the Ray Aviation Scholarship that indicate a commitment to success. Once a chapter is approved for the program, it nominates the chosen scholar for EAA's final review. Many chapters are granted the full $10,000 for their selected scholar, but some chapters have committed 50% of the award to secure their slot in the program. All EAA and division chapters are eligible for a grant up to $10,000. After the break, iHeart Flying Foundation announces scholarship partnership. More news after these messages. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter but interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. HAI has awarded nine scholarships for 2021. Available to aviation students around the world, these scholarships support HAI's mission to educate the next generation of helicopter professionals. HAI makes available about 15 scholarships each year, funded through donations and other fundraising events. This year's awards comprise one scholarship for students in helicopter maintenance technician programs, one for pilots working towards earning their commercial helicopter rating, one for safety professionals, and six for established maintenance professionals seeking training for specific helicopters or components. Heli Center Aviation to fund the largest amount ever in helicopter scholarships. 
Heli Center Aviation Academy has announced its 2022 scholarship initiative, the largest since the program began in 2012. The quarter of a million pound scholarship fund will assist prospective integrated and modular training helicopter pilots to fast track their careers and will continue to provide exceptional qualified professional helicopter pilots to the UK crew supply chain. The scholarships bursaries and part sponsored places will all be awarded by summer 2022. Pan Am announces their acquisition of a new full flight simulator. Pan Am Flight Academy has acquired a Boeing 757-200 full flight simulator. This level D simulator along with a level five flight training device are currently being relocated from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas to the Pan Am headquarters in Miami, Florida and are scheduled to be available for training by November 1st. The level D full flight simulator and level five FTD come fully equipped with the latest ISNS cockpit. Both machines include Rolls-Royce RB211 engine models, GPS, and SMG CS capabilities. iHeart Flying Foundation announces scholarship partnership. Ms. Rochelle Spector, founder of the iHeart Flying Foundation, and Ms. Megan Duplessis, Associate Brand Director, Aviation for Philip 66, teamed up at Air Venture to announce a flight training scholarship funding partnership for women seeking a career in aviation. The theme scholarship opportunity has been named Fueling Flight Through Hearts of Might. We've experienced now four years of unparalleled success with our themed scholarships. They benefit the very industry and partners impacted by talent shortages, gender imbalances, and goals for more sustainable diversity and inclusion initiatives, shared Ms. Spector. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. SkyWest Pilot Career Pathway is partnering with Spartan College of Aeronautics and Technology at their Tulsa, Oklahoma flight campus. The benefits to pilots may be significant. Program highlights include tuition reimbursement from SkyWest as Spartan cadets reach milestones in their training and the added potential of Spartan scholarships for those who qualify. In addition to providing a customized experience for cadets, the program seeks to include people who may be considering a career in aviation for the first time. Rob Polston, Spartan CEO, emphasizes that the new partnership will be committed to supporting SkyWest's hiring goals. In as few as 17 months, our students can log 200 plus hours in our fleet of a new Piper Archer airplanes and graduate with the training needed for their six FAA certifications and ratings. He notes, certified flight instructors should also consider joining Spartan, he adds. They qualify for a reduced airline transport pilot of 1,250 hours. And in this way, we can place well-trained pilots on the SkyWest flight decks in a relatively short time. Spartan College was established in 1928 and has trained more than 100,000 pilots and technicians. SkyWest partners with several carriers including United Airlines, Delta Airlines, American Airlines, and Alaska Airlines. After these messages, new A&P program benefits both students and employers. I'll tell you how after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. 
Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. A new airframe and power plant mechanic program being developed at Southern Oklahoma Technical Center serves to increase a skill-based workforce for such leading area employers as King Aerospace. King Aerospace held a luncheon for program organizers as part of its public-private sector collaboration. Roy Lischinski, Vice President of Operations at King Aerospace Commercial Corporation, will serve on Southern Tech's advisory board. The program will meet requirements for students to take the FAA exam needed to earn certification as an AMP mechanic. This certificate authorizes the holder to approve aircraft that have undergone inspection or maintenance for return to service. The new program builds off of the success of the school's auto mechanic program. Program graduates will provide a pipeline of hard-to-find talent. Southern Tech received a $4 million grant from the Economic Development Administration CARES Act to create the program. It's first for the aviation industry. The grant is the largest Southern Tech has ever been awarded. Grant funding will also be used to build a 18,775 square foot training facility with a shop area, classrooms, and lab spaces to enable hands-on training with real equipment and aircraft. Well, that does it for our show today, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.